Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World Videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Verma. Topic for today's discussion is inserting audios. In the prior sessions, we have already discussed about inserting the audio, recording your own voice as a narration. Then we have discussed about working with the audios, how to trim that, how to add certain effects. And in this session, we are going to discuss about audio options. We have this audio inserted in our presentation. Let me play that audio first. That was the file which was inserted first. That was the original file, a 4 second file that we have inserted. And then we have trimmed the size of the file to 3 seconds. So let's use the original file. This one. I'll insert this file on another slide here. Now I'll show you some of the audio options. First, when you select the audio file, you'll be getting two tabs here. Under audio tools, select playback. And now under audio options, you'll be getting some options here. Volume, start, hide on. We are going to discuss about all these options. About volume. Okay, about volume. Select this. This options give you uh, the option to low the video volume. We can minimize that and we can make it high. Suppose we select low option. Now play that audio. Now the sound is barely uh, audible. The sound has become very light. The volume has gone down. If you select the volume as high, as per the requirement you can make the changes either you can make it low medium or high that suits to your presentation from here you can select this option as well mute the audio is getting played but it's mute Let's make it medium. Alright. Now other thing we'll discuss about start. You select the audio. Start means how do you want to start the audio in your presentation. On a click. Once you are going to run the slideshow, do you want the audio to be played? Once you click on the slide or automatically you want that to be played that you run the slideshow and it run on its own. Then other thing we have is play across these slides. It means if you select this option, if you run, that means this particular music is going to be played irrespective of the slides. You can move around, you can play the slideshow, you can press the mouse key or the keys to move up and down to these slides, but the music would be constant for all of them. I'll show you how that happens. First of all, let me select that automatically option. Now, if we are going to run the slideshow, click on the slideshow and select from current slide. Now, that has come on its own. The music is played on its own. Now, I'm going to make some changes. I have selected on click option. Now run the slideshow again. Now see what's gonna happen. The content is here, the video file is here, but it's not getting played. Once I'm going to click on this audio, then only it's going to be played. Then the other option I have is across all these slides. Select this, playback. And I want to select play across slides. 
Now let me show you what happens now. Click on the slide show from the current slide. Now I am moving the slides and that was the last slide actually. Let me do that once again from the current slide. It's going to play automatically. Now I am changing the slides and it's getting played on its own. So this is how it works. Then we have an option loop until stopped. Now select this option loop until stopped and run the slideshow once again. The music is getting played and then it starts again. As you can listen here, once the music is getting ended, it starts on its own because we have applied that loop option. Rewind after playing. We have selected this option. This option, rewind after playing. This causes the audio file to return to the beginning when it's finished playing. So these are the audio options that what we can do with the audio file that we have inserted in the slide. We can change the volume, we can change the start options. We do have one more option available here that is hide during the show. If you place a check mark here and you select the option automatically suppose and suppose we run the slideshow. Now the music is getting played but there is no icon here. So this is how all these options work. Now next we will discuss about formatting the audio. By default an audio file will show you a speaker icon. As we can see here we have inserted a file and showing you as a speaker icon. If you want to change the icon to a different picture you can definitely do it and you can apply all the different type of image formatting that you can apply to a picture such as artistic effect or the picture styles and all these effects you can apply using the format tab here click on the format tab and you have all the options available for the picture if you want to change the picture icon click on the audio file first so first of all select this audio file then on the format tab you have a change picture icon this one you do have the option artistic effect colors you can change apply all of them you can click on change picture and you can opt for any picture you want to change it to suppose this one you can change the icon to any picture now you can apply the other effects also like the artistic effect if you say you can apply all the effect that you can apply to an image or a picture You can change the picture style also. You can apply borders, shades, means you can do all the things that you can do with the picture. We have selected the option to hide it. Let's not hide it during the show. Now you can see that the audio file is here on the slide already. But we have changed the icon. Instead of the speaker, there is some other picture coming up here.
So this is how we can change the icon, the volume icon and we have seen that what are the options available. What are the options we can change for a audio file. We can change the volume, the startup type. So that was it for today's session that was about inserting the audios. I hope we understand that how we can add the audio in the file and what are the operations that we can perform. We can try to tune it down to the particular presentation. So that was it for today's session. Thanks everyone. Thank you for watching Azupedia World videos.